Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be installing the front intercooler. Um, you probably seen my unboxing video. I've put a little pop up up here or up there, maybe one of them. But anyway, first thing we need to do, we're going to crack straight on with it. Remove the headlights. Underneath the headlights, there are I think three. So one, two, three bolts here. We're also going to go into the wheel arch and remove basically all of these. So that one, that one, and that one um, that's going to allow the bumps to come away from here I think there might be one more in there we'll have a look there might be one more if not we'll just remove the ones that you can see and the one up there um, and then I've been told that there are some tabs underneath um, so there is a tab there I think there's a tab in the middle yep yeah, there's a tab in the middle and then a tab at the end there um, People have told me there aren't any bolts actually underneath the splitter itself. So I'm going to try and take it off without removing the splitter, but we'll see how it goes. So they're the ones I'm going to remove. Um, let's cut to me doing that. I'm just going to use a T30 Torx. Um, obviously you can use a flathead if you want to. Don't hit your bonnet like I just did. Mm. Here's that out. Just put that somewhere safe. And then I just need to pop this up with that head. Okay, I'm just going to show you where I've got up to. So basically, there's three bolts in here. You might not be able to see it. So there's one there. There's one on the inside, which is the white one. And then there's another one right at the back. Um, so you need kind of an extension to get into there. The second one is your fog lights, which is there. Um, I'll try and show you guys the clip because I've undone one already. That's the clip. It's just got a little clip on the side that you literally just pop off so that's that one done I can't get to the other one at the minute because of my ITG because that's in there it's, it's a hell of a tight squeeze so I might try and take the bumper off and then remove the headlights um, from that otherwise the panels so I've done this one obviously with the headlight these two that one that one and that one two of them are these torx bits same as your headlight most of them are push pin so that's pretty free now, just need to do those and then we're going to go under the car and remove that there. I think we need to remove that one and then it should come off, there's also one on the other side. But yeah, it's looking good. She's looking good. I just want to show you my setup to get actually into those bumper bolts. So I've got a pivot on the end, a deep reach 10mm socket, an extension and an extension. Um, and I'll show you how that works now. Basically, to get into there, pop it in like that. It's janky, but it works. Alright. Okay, so we're on to the next bit now. Sorry for the camera angle, sorry for the darkness. Let me see if I can turn my flash on. And there we go. Right. So we're now going to remove this one, this one. This one, and I think there might be one more. You've also got different access to your bumper bolts. There, your bumper bolts there, which correlate to that. Um, so you might be able to get to the really far one at the back. I would try and point to it now. There's a white one just at the top of the camera there, just there. You need to get to it. It's quite a hard one to reach. But anyway, so we're going to remove all of these. So that one, that one, that one, and that one. Oh, and that one. Completely forgot about that one. But anyway, I think they're mostly Torx bits um, or flatheads. Should be super simple to do. Okay, so these clips under here, you've got one here, one here, and then the same on the other side. Ooh. Now, these are quite interesting clips. Um, basically, they have like a small little notch in the side, so you need to get that one off first. I'll try and do this one handed. It's quite hard to do while filming. Basically, you take... They're like the pop clips, but... Slightly different design, there we go. Cool. So once that's out enough, you then come in from the other angle and you can see the hole there. 
and you pop the whole thing out. This is very, very hard to do one hand. See that they're basically like almost like a keyed, a keyed um, push, push clip. So you can see that's the divot that you need to put the screwdriver into first, and then there's one on the other side to get the actual clip out itself once you've removed the first bit. Okay, just want to point out there is a hidden white bolt inside there. But as long as you undo those three that I originally said, um, so there's one at the top there, one there, one at the back which you can reach from under the liner here. There is a hidden white one which is here but that comes off with the bumper so you don't need to remove that one. As you can see it looks like it's screwed in but it's not, it's actually hidden away. Right, so we're at the point where we need to now take the interval off, so we're going to start just removing basically this bolt. Um, I think this one here, obviously I'm making this up as I go along. Um, there's some underneath these, all the way along. Um, and then we obviously need to remove the hose clips from both sides. I think there may be a bolt inside there, you might just be able to see it in there somewhere. Um, I'm just not sure how these mount to this right now, but we'll see. Okay, so I've just removed the rear splash shield. Um, it's held on by two clips that clip into here and all those bolts that I showed you originally. As you can see, there it is. Um, so you just undo those clips, it comes off of here, off of there, and then, like I said, you've got the bolts across there. We get a bit more clearance to here now, I'm just gonna remove this bit, and we should have full access to the intercooler. So next we remove this. There's a push clip up top. Two little push pins on the side which are just those, uh, basically those little push things. And then there's two clips here. They literally sit into here and you just push the thing down and pull it out. And then this comes off. Now we're up to the intercooler. Um, it looks like it's mounted just with a push thing there. And now it's got to undo the hose clips, I think. I think that's about it. Okay, so remove pipes. I have no idea what that is, but it's disgusting and I'm going to clean that out. Um, I've just found two extra bolts just there. So I think that's part of the intercooler that's holding on. So once that's out, hopefully this whole thing will come off. It's just showing you where I've got to. Basically the old one's off. New one, literally I've just done up that hose clip. That hose clip obviously ends you a lot more. This is going to bolt to the crash bar. So you're going to draw a hole through the crash bar and on the back you can put a nut. So through there through there, two bolts. I didn't get supplied any bolts, but maybe you guys will. I'm not 100% sure with that. But yeah, once that's up and on, I'm gonna put the bottom bit back on, um, which slots on underneath here. So you can see it's held on by this small plastic clip and hopefully some others. But yeah, it's all looking good. Okay, so I've got the pipes themselves pretty tight now. Um, as you can see, it's pretty much on. Basically what you've got to do is drill through the crash bar, through this, there's a thin bit, that middle bit's quite thin compared to this top bit. So we're going to drill through there, we found some random bolts, we're going to cut them down to size, stick them through there, mount it up all nice and tight. Just make sure it's sitting on top of that, and then like I said before, just melt it all back on, but I'll show you guys that. Just to show you guys, so I've got a plastic washer on the inside, that one on the outside, it's basically going to mount like that, and I'm going to use this line if you can see it as basically my hole for both these. So I'm going to take both these out, draw a hole through there. I think it's an 8mm, it might be a 6 Draw a hole through there, put a nut on the back, and then that'll be mounted and we just do it all in reverse. Okay, so I've just installed the bottom splash shield. Um, I'm not going to install the top one, because the top one, it requires cutting. So if you were going to install this top one, you'd need to cut 
there and there. I'm just not going to bother. So I still need to drill these holes, but currently it's it's pretty solid as it is. Um, so yeah, quite happy with that at the minute. So to install those back, because once again, those bolts at the bottom, this one, and you're all good. So I've put the bump screws back in, which are down there. And I've made sure all the tabs, the white tabs down here, they're all in place, including this one. Um, so now it's basically putting everything back together again. Just to show you the wheel arch liner, you've got uh, the Torx bit, Torx bit, Torx bit, Torx bit, and the really weird... Can you even see my finger? Hang on, two seconds... The really weird push... So it's all on now guys, all the bolts are back on, and again you've got bolts here, you've got bolts all the way up the rear arch, and then you've got the front trim panel which comes along here, um, same on the other side, and then you've got a few just underneath. She's on, she's looking good. I'm going to go for a quick test drive now, make sure it all works, but this will conclude this video, so thank you for watching, I'm so sorry about the sports cat video, I mean it guys, when, it's, when it goes live, or even if I release it, it's the worst thing you can ever do on your driveway in the dark in the rain so um get a garage to install it but for now thank you for watching there'll be more videos in the future i can assure you but thanks for watching peace out remember to like favorite and subscribe if you guys need any help with this it's super super easy to do really straightforward once you got the bumper off um, other than obviously having to drill the crash bar so once i drilled the crash bar it was just two eight mil bolts that i just had on hand um, i put some of my own washers there just to make sure it fits nicely yeah, thanks for watching guys, and I will see you next time.